What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to take you through my review of the Kaizen program and how I think the routine has gone over the past few weeks. This is the final time I will be doing the review on the channel. So this is like whether the routine actually worked and whether I think it's worth good to like you guys try it out. So over the past week I've been testing out my one rep maxes on bench, squat and deadlift and I'm going to compare them against like past videos of which I've also attempted those lifts. So around about September time I think I was looking to cut down for Croatia where I was going away with Josie's family and I went to visit Keith and I thought I'd test out my one rep max on bench when I went away with him and believe it or not that's the last time I tested out my like one rep max on bench I don't do it that often I'm like into the bodybuilding stuff so this power building has been very different and test testing one rep maxes is not something I normally do so when I went down to Keith I was feeling a little bit strong I was in a good atmosphere I was training with someone so I had a good spotter and I thought why not give it a go and this is how it went <laughs> Go on. Go on. Go. Push. Come on. Ah, oh, bro. <laughs> so fast forward 16 weeks of the Kaizen power building routine and a little, there was a few weeks a little bit before as well where I was doing the bodybuilding stuff but the power building took around about 16 weeks and this is my new bench PR. So as you can see, that was debatable. Josie had her hands on the bar and I was not happy with that. You can tell from my face that like, I felt like she took the lift from me. So instead of leaving it there, I took it one step further, added to the bar and told her to, as soon as she unracked it, just step away from the bar because I wanted that lift. And we got it guys, so we went from 112.5 kilograms failure to 122.5 kilogram PR and we actually got the lift like completely no spot and needed. So that is like 10 kilograms progress. I'm super happy with that on bench. I've been chasing 120 bench for like quite a while. So next big goal 130 and then three plates 140. Now for squats again, I don't test my one rep max on this too often and my previous one rep max is 140 kilograms. I don't have any footage of this, but I did record my one rep like previous one rep max of 140 in this clip just to see how he was moving and stuff <laughs> So that was my previous one rep max. I thought that it moved fairly fast. I wasn't completely happy with depth on it, but I'm pretty sure I did get it. So I moved it up to this. <laughs> and again, I just felt like I could put more on the bar. So I actually went up again. <laughs> So that's a new squat PR, 160 kilograms. I pretty sure I got depth on it. I've watched it back a million times in slow motion. It's hard to tell with the angle and stuff. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below, but like if I really have to do it again, I will. I know I've got the strength now. So that's a 20 kilogram PR, like absolutely over the moon with the squat progress. Uh, I think it honestly comes down to the amount of volume the Kaizen power building like forces you to do. Like some weeks I was squatting. So to put it into perspective, over a eight day span, without a rest day, you could be squatting up to like four times a week, which is like massively more than I was already doing. So even if I hadn't improved on weight, like I knew my form was going to increase and that's something that I'm always working on as well. So hopefully my depth has got better, my mobility's got a little bit better, but Again, I've just added 20k to my squat, so I absolutely landed with that. I think I'd have more in the tank 
if I had a stronger core, because honestly I've been putting off the core training, I'm not going to lie to you guys, there is core training involved in the power building, if you are going to run the routine, do the core building, because I noticed that at the end of my squat, you can see me shaking like a leaf, I have absolutely no core stability, I like after the squat I'm completely taxed so if my core was a little bit stronger and I was able to brace I feel like I could add to that squat even more which brings me on to the deadlifts guys <sighs> You guys have seen my PR attempt after about four weeks of training Kaizen. That was stupid. Wasn't expecting much strength gains, but I thought, who knows? Maybe a miracle happened. Fuck! Fuck! Now I've run the program for 16 weeks and there is a lot of deadlifting involved in the power building program. I thought, okay, we're doing a lot of deadlifts. This is going to help me increase my deadlift. This is a PR attempt on deadlift from yesterday. I hooked them, I don't know why. Yeah, that's right. My deadlift has not increased over the entire 16 weeks and I, I just suck at deadlift, guys. I absolutely suck at deadlift. It is the one lift that over my like three, nearly four years of training, I haven't trained consistently, so it is my fault, honestly. Like I've done squats and bench since like pretty much day one. That's a lie, I did machines and stuff. But like after a year of training where I knew what I was doing, I did bench and squats, no deadlifts. Just didn't put them in my routine. So I've suffered from that now. My deadlift absolutely sucks and it's like on par with my squat because technically I didn't hit that lift, which means my past PR for deadlifts is 160K and my squat PR is 160k. But I'm taking it with a pinch of salt, it is my own fault. I feel like I probably could have got that lift if my grip was there. For some reason, like, like a double overhand gripped, I rushed it. Never ever double overhand gripped in my life, so why I did it then is beyond me. The bar just slipped out of my grip and I lost the lift, so not the best progress with deadlifts. I'm gonna say, like, I've built a little bit of strength because the bar moved, but I didn't hit the lift, so I'm not gonna count it. And that's how my lifts have increased over the 16 weeks of power building, guys. I hope this has given you some like feedback and encouraged you maybe to pick up the program. I'm not affiliated with them in any way, so don't really know why I'm pushing the program to you so much because I get nothing from it. But I enjoyed the first few weeks, but if you really love your bodybuilding like me, then you are gonna miss it because 16 weeks is a long time to go with like out doing your own routines and without like training chest and doing flies and stuff that's what i love so that's what i'm going to stick with in the future will i continue to squat and bench heavy probably will i work on my deadlift uh, i should but i might just accept that i suck at the movement and there is no helping me this is not the way, like, this is not what I would recommend for you guys. If you guys want to increase a lift and you just suck at it, I would say keep working on it. But for me, I don't know, guys. I, we'll see. We'll see. So back into the bodybuilding stuff on the channel anyway, guys. I hope you have enjoyed the Kaizen stuff that is going to be finished for now. But, yeah. We're done. I've made progress and I'm happy with that. So like the video if you've enjoyed this review and you think that my deadlift sucks, then make sure to like the video as well. Subscribe if you're new to the channel because I've got a lot of ideas coming up in the future which I'm gonna like straight more towards like educating you guys with bodybuilding and stuff. So I'm gonna look into my myself, I'm gonna look up some studies and I'm gonna pass it on to you guys. And yeah, I think that covers it. So catch you in my next video guys, peace. Just a very brief clip at the end of this video for those who are still sticking around. I've just watched the video back and I realized that sometimes in the video I say that my lifts aren't very good. I say that they suck. Like I say that my deadlift of 160k hasn't made any progress and I suck at deadlifts and I'm bad at that movement. Now that is all relative to my body weight, my goals and what I do in the gym. I don't think that 160 kilograms is by any like means a standard or like newbie lift like if your deadlift is less than that I'm not knocking you and I hate it when people like this is why I'm making the clip I hate it when people say 
that they've got a certain lift and anyone below that lift is like a peasant. So just work on yourself guys. Don't worry about the weights in this video because they mean absolutely nothing to you. All I'm showing you is that this routine has like managed to bring me some progress. So keep doing what you're doing in the gym guys. Work towards your own goals and as long as you're hitting your own goals that's all that matters guys. So we're all going to make it in the end. Thanks for watching this video and sticking around for this long if you're watching this clip. I appreciate you. Peace out, guys.